This is going to be a complete guide on how to stop Gun Bunch in Madden 24, and we're going to show you a ton of different ways and different coverages that you can use to be effective. In your coaching adjustments, I'm in the Chiefs playbook. We're going to go auto flip, defensive play call off. Everything else is going to be pretty much on default. When you get down here to zone coverage, you just want to make sure this is on match, and we are going to be coming out in the play spinner. I accidentally came out in DB Fire, but I'll just audible to it. But you're going to come out in the play spinner out of dollar. This is the best Gun Bunch defense in the game here. Very simple, and we'll get into kind of some of the specifics as to why. What you're going to do for a, a coverage perspective is you're just going to press your defense you're going to outside third this solo wide receiver side outside corner you're going to pinch your defensive line and then you're going to curl flat both of your slot corners so as you can see here this is what the play art looks like this is going to do a really good job of defending things like verticals double post pretty much all that i do like to go ahead and shade that outside bunch receiver inside it will just help defend uh double post a little bit better but as you can see here there's not really anything open by the time the pressure gets home and this is one of the best defenses for defending gun bunch all right guys so we're going to go ahead and talk about some other things and, and strategies for defending gun bunch as like audibles abilities all of that stuff i'm in dollar here today uh we're, we might show you some stuff out of other formations as well if you want to get my entire dollar three two defensive ebook i will leave a link to that in the description by becoming a patreon member you get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks so if you like this video you'll love the patreon we have a ton of really in-depth uh, material in there in terms of how to build offensive and defensive schemes how to really master them and how to use uh, different types of adjustments to stop some of the best offenses in the game. So we have over 15 different offensive and defensive eBooks and our dollar three, two is completely up to date with everything that you need to be effective defensively. So again, if you guys want to take your Madden game to the next level, join the Patreon at the link in the description below, but let's talk a little bit about audibles uh, or not necessarily even just audibles, but let's just talk about abilities first. So uh, the biggest thing with this, when you're defending gun bunch, it really um, it's sp specifically Colts bunch is these abilities are really helpful. So what we have is we have deep out zone knockout on both of our outside corners. And then the safety that is on the right side of the screen uh, is Bo Jackson. He actually has deep in and deep out zone knockout. So he has both of those. Um, this is going to enable allow us to do some roll coverages, which we'll talk about in just a minute. And then this safety here has deep end zone knockout. Another thing that I really recommend is that both of your safeties have universal coverage. The reason why is because if they ever get activated, they will go crazy in the middle of the field. They'll be able, we'll be able to kind of open the floodgates in terms of just the adjustments that we can do against the gun bunch formation. So um, that is really, really important. Now, in terms of the blitzing concepts, I like to use spinner. I think spinner is the best blitz in the game. Just a simple five man pressure here. And one of my other favorite adjustments for bunch, I'll show you it's one of my favorite uh, blitz heavy adjustments. We're going to scissor the left side. So what you do, what that means is you're going to man up the solo wide receiver side safety onto the solo wide receiver. That is going to stop anything quick to him like wide curl. This is a great defense for wide curl. Um, then you're also going to man the uh, corner, the solo wide receiver side corner onto the running back. Now, the purpose of doing that is because it's going to make it so that they can't quick throw the running back wheel route to the left side, and they're going to have to at least hold the ball for just a second. Now, they can throw the wheel route late, but what we're anticipating is that the pressure is going to come in before they're able to throw the ball. Now, the last adjustment that I like to do is I just like to take the slot uh, corner and man him up onto the tight ends. You see, this is what it looks like. Fairly simple sequence of adjustments. And I think this is actually really, really, really good for a bunch. So what you'll see is at the side of the ball, pressure is going to come in and there's really not a whole lot of time for routes to develop downfield. So what they're going to do is they are going to then start to have to block the running back. And so I want to show you what happens whenever they do block the running back. So you see here, they're going to block the running back, try to get some extra time in the pocket. Sometimes the pressure will flat out just come in. But if you take a look here in instant replay, what you're going to notice is this is kind of a principle in gun bunch that in gun bunch has been for a couple years is that if the, if you do the scissor adjustment, if the running back blocks, you see how this guy is like acting like he's going to man up on the running back. And then look what he does. He actually doubles teams the solo wide receiver so you get kind of an inside outside bracket on that solo wide receiver which can be helpful uh, but some other adjustments that you can do with that same kind of send five type of look is we're just going to pinch our defense or uh, pinch our d-line press and then we're going to uh, outside third the solo wide receiver side outside corner we are going to uh, curl flat the solo wide receiver side safety 
and then we are going to uh, shade our coverage underneath. And what I like to do when I do that is I like to man up the slot. It's going to give me a press man-to-man -man, uh, kind of animation, if you will, on the slot receiver. And then I'll just man the safety up onto the tight end, and I'll kind of help uh, take away the tight end off of the off the snap of the ball, right? So what you'll see here, and really what this is going to do a really good job of, again, we're just trying to jump quick reads over the middle. So you see here, I can lurk that, go back in here, and by the time you know that happens, they're going to be sacked. So it's a way that we can really do a nice job of defending some of the underneath stuff that people like to do out of out of gun bunch this year so i love to do this right here and um and then like i said just man up the tight end now let's talk about verticals because a lot of people like to run verticals uh, i just want to show how this would play that so what you'll see here is that man up i would just need to use the running back there but if you take a look at this little sin five pressure concept at a dollar you are going to be sitting pretty in terms of your ability uh, to defend. As you see here, the solo wide receiver side is absolutely bagged. Crosser is going to be bagged because we shaded down and inside. And then, as you can see here, um, the only route that might get open is this route, but he actually plays it pretty good from the safety position. So let me show you the adjustment sequence one more time. So, again, we're going to pinch our D-line. We're going to press. We're going to man up that slot. Uh, corner on the slot receiver. We're then going to outside third, the outside corner on the left. We're going to purple the uh, safety on the left-hand side. Uh, we're going to shade inside and underneath, and then we're going to man up the safety onto the tight end. So what you're going to see here, again, if they run verticals, all I have to do is kind of lurk here, back down to here, and as you can see, there's not a whole lot that they can do to get open. In my opinion, when you're defending gun bunch, cross manning and some of these little man-to-man -man tactics are super, super effective, but we are going to get into some zone coverages here in just a second. So I wanted to talk about some zone concepts that I like to use in terms of how we can defend Gun Bunch uh, relatively effectively. And what we're going to do here is we're going to sub, uh, what I would recommend, just sub out and sub back in your players wherever you want to. This is going to allow you to put a, uh, a special package on the field that's actually going to do a really good job of, you know, kind of helping this. And so we subbed them out, subbed them back in, and then we're going to click our right joystick one click to the right. As you can see there, it's going to give us the free safety sub package uh, for this. And then really for this here, um, what I like to recommend is either coming out in free safety zone blitz or you to save yourself some adjustments, or you could actually create this out of the play spinner. So uh, we'll show it out of the play spinner just so we keep everything looking the same. That is one of the most important things that you can do uh, on the defensive side of the ball. All right, so spinner, we're going to make everything look the same. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to pinch our D-line. We're going to press our coverage, and then we're going to stand about right here. This is going to set up the blitzing portion of this, of this uh, setup. We're then going to outside third, our solo wide receiver side corner. We're going to middle third, our solo wide receiver side safety. And the purpose of the package, remember, Bo Jackson has deep in and deep out zone knockout, and we're going to put him in an outside third to the bunch uh, side. From there, all we're going to do is we are going to uh, basically utilize a vertical hook, and then we're going to shade underneath, and then we're going to cloud and curl flat. So as you can see, this is the setup of the defense. I know it's a lot of adjustments, but if you come out and you know exactly what you're doing, you will be able to uh, set this up in time. If you would like to kind of save yourself some steps, I'll show you how to do it at a free safety zone blitz, but I prefer to do this at a spinner just because we want to make everything look um, the same as much as we possibly can. So what you're going to see here, uh, and really what this is going to do a very good job of defending, is it's going to do a really good job of defending any kind of flood concept to the bunch side. Uh, what you'll see is you also all, oftentimes get this nice pressure up the middle, and as you can see here, the outside third will do a really good job of defending the corner route over there on the right-hand side. So let me show you how fast you can actually set this up. So uh, I'll just do it real quick, and... We're set up completely. I just forgot to put the vert hook out there. All right, bumped a button wrong. But anyway, so you see there. So the purpose of the vertical hook and why it's really important um, is due to the fact that, let's say they want to run verticals, this vertical hook will actually lurk the vertical's tight end wheel and the running back underneath. So you see right there, it's kind of a tight window for them to be able to throw that. And again, that safety that's coming over the middle of the field, he has deep in zone KO. So that's a very, very important ability to this defense. Now, let me show that to you. If you don't shade down, it'll do a better job on the vertical's wheel. Um, and then they'll actually have to check down to that running back underneath. So 
you can kind of like bake that or go back to the cross or whatever you want to do. Now, another thing that's really important about this is how it's going to do in terms of defending the verticals crosser out of the play vertical. So if they are running verticals, watch this uh, crosser here. You're going to see that it's hard to throw that with that press third over there on the left-hand side. So there's not a great window for them to throw that verticals crosser against this, uh, which is another reason why I really like this adjustment. If you find that they're running verticals a lot, what they're keeping that running back on the in route, go ahead and send five, and because um, you don't really need that flat defender over there. And as you can see, the send five is super, super effective. So this is kind of my go-to. Uh, when I want to play zone against Bunch, this is my favorite way to play zone. Um, and then if you wanted to, you could man this guy up on the you could man this guy up on the slot. You can man this guy up on the tight end. You could man him up on you know really anyone. You he, the slot. Uh, corner is kind of like your uh, rover defender. Now, another great adjustment that I like to do if they are you know running a lot of bunch and I want to mix it up a little bit is I'll crash underneath. And then what I'll do is I'll take this uh, linebacker and I'll actually cross man him onto the tight end and we'll play like this. The reason why this is a really good adjustment is because it's going to completely neutralize the tight end. And all you're going to have to do is basically worry about the slot in this play. So very, very nice little play for defending, you know, gun bunch verticals. Now I want to show you a really good set of adjustments to do out of DB fire. If you ever want to send five, um, this is a really, really good adjustment for a bunch. So when you send five out of DB fire, a lot of times what I like to do is I'm going to base the line and I'm going to pinch my defense essentially. So it's going to look like this. Now, um, the beauty of this defense right here is where this guy uh, lines up is actually pretty advantageous for us. So we can do a couple of different things. This is where I'll go a little bit crazy with the cross manning. So what we'll do is we're going to uh, man up the safety onto the solo wide receiver. We're going to actually hard flat over there on that left-hand side. If they send the running back out, they're going to get screamed at typically. And then we're going to cross man the uh, tight end. And then what I like to do for the rest of the, the play is we're going to man up circle. We're going to put an outside quarter over there on that right. And then we're going to man up the slot with the safety. So you see this little defense right here is really good. The purpose of this defense is allows us to send uh, an edge rusher. But the other purpose of this defense and kind of the underrated thing is it forces them to throw the ball over the middle of the field. They can't really throw a corner route to the right hand side. Uh, if they throw a corner out to the right hand side, this quarter will play it really well. And you see here, like, yeah, the quarter kind of bracketing that outside corner, which is another reason why this is a very good defense. Now, a little bit of a simpler setup out of DB Fire 2. I don't run this a ton, but I did want to show this to you uh, because you are going to have to use this left side defender, but it can be pretty good. What we're going to do is we're going to baseline press, uh, pinch our defense, and then we're going to outside quarter over there on the bunch side. We are going to inside third over there on the bunch side. And when I do something like this, I really recommend bringing these safeties into the box. And then what we're going to do is we're going to still cross man that solo wide receiver side, and we're still going to hard flat. So this is a great send five pressure. You have the flats covered on both of the, uh, the sidelines. If they want to run verticals, um, you're going to basically try to like, essentially you have to take the crosser and you are going to give up the tight end, but I will say that that tight end route is not like a hundred percent open because you are, uh, putting this guy in a hard flat and he actually can go and play that. Now, if I wanted to do the same basic thing, uh, but I, but I wanted to do it out of, uh, this defense right here, what I would do is potentially something like this, where we're going to go with a. Uh, outside quarter over there to the left side. We're going to go with a middle third to the right side, and we're going to do essentially a defense that looks like this. We're still able to cover both flat zones uh, with these, these uh, coverage adjustments, and we're able to now be able to kind of bait between the tight end and the crosser, which they're not going to want to throw. So you see right here, we can kind of go here to here. They throw that, and you see that that deep zone knockout is kind of coming right in uh, to the area to be able to defend that receiving threat. So a lot of really nice little adjustments here out of dollar that I like. Uh, and again, the purpose of this the purpose of this set of adjustments is really just to try to lurk a, a quick flat. You're trying to force them to make a mistake. I think these uh, adjustments right here, super underrated. And the Sin 5 out of DB Fire 2 is pretty good, honestly. Uh, this combo or this uh, this defense will actually do a decent job against like a double post. 
uh, because that middle third's coming from the left. So it'll be a little safer in terms of uh, being able to defend that. One really underrated uh, defense, honestly, is just straight DB fire two, baseline press it. And then what I would really recommend here is um, this linebacker to go ahead and cross man him onto the tight end. And then I would scissor the left side. So you see, it looks something like this. What this is going to do is you're going to be able to take away the quick flats on both sides. Um, and basically, your user responsibility is the slot and the outside guy if they come over the middle. So again, if they run double post, um, you have pretty good coverage here. So what you want to do, kind of lurk here and then kind of take the post route. You have to guard the post route yourself. But other than that, pretty much everything is, is taken away. So I really like this set of adjustments out of uh, DB Fire. One of the more underrated adjustments you can do out of DB Fire this year is you can mid-read. Um, I actually have to take the package off. So we'll go back into kind of some standard coverages. But um, so when we want to do this, we can't be in the free safety sub package. But basically what you want to do is you want to come out and you want to mid-read this guy on the left side. Now, I've been talking about this for a couple of years now. I think this is one of the most underrated adjustments you can do for Bunch because it defends a lot of stuff that people like to do out of Bunch. Most notably, it defends double posts. So you'll see right here, if you watch this mid-read, he will actually, actually low-key kind of failed his responsibility, but we'll show it again. So... If, they're, if you're trying to defend double post or you're trying to defend the verticals crosser, I think mid-reads from the left to – you got to do it from the solo side. Um, do a pretty good job. I'm going to man up that R1 receiver. Let's see if we can get this mid-read to play. If they don't have a streak on the field, the mid-read will 100% guard it. Um, I think, yeah, as you see right there, see how it matches to it? That's the idea. So we can take advantage of that and create other coverages or other adjustments around it. So essentially – we're going to mid-read this defender, and then we're still using this. So this is all looking exactly like our spinner or our DB Fire 2, or right? It's looking like our base uh, style of defense, right? So what we're going to do here is we're going to do a little max coverage. So we force them now to respect the fact that we could play some coverage, right? So we're going to go with a curl flat on the left side, a quarter zone uh, on the left side, and then what I like to do is cross man the slot receiver, and then I like to go ahead and really we could just leave it like this. Honestly, it will be fine. This is pretty good defense for a lot of what Bunch likes to do. But I would still go ahead and um, hard flat or curl flat outside quarter. And then you could either cross man this guy on the tight end or you could just put him in a middle third. So as you can see. These adjustments right here are pretty good for uh, Bunch. And the reason why is because it will stop this double post route, which allows you to kind of stay underneath. You see here, the mid read matches it perfectly. They will think that it's going to be wide open, but the mid read will match it. And that's another advantage to having your match coverage on uh, from time to time when you're playing uh, in gun bunch. Now I want to go over um, a set of adjustments that I like to use without match coverage on. So uh, I'm going to put this back on default. And the purpose of this is if I ever want to just play kind of some basic uh, cover four style coverage uh, with a send four pressure out of variation out of it. So this is where I was going to go over free safety zone blitz and how to set up the blitz out of this. This is in the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. All we're going to do, and as you can see here, my packages are on uh, default as well. So free safety zone blitz. And what we're going to do is we are just going to quarter everybody. So you'll see here, I would want to be baseline. Let me actually show that as well. So when you run this version of the defense, I think it's better if you're base aligned than if you're not um, because of the fact that the quarters will be more outside. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to press coverage and we're going to quarter our safeties and corners. So we're going to turn it into a cover four, as you can see, and then we're just going to shade outside and underneath. So this is a very simple defense, but it is really effective and you do have a four man pressure. So your primary responsibility right here is to use her, you know, any kind of, any kind of like seam wheel. Um, and you're going to allow them to throw the crosser. Now, remember we have deep in zone KO, we have deep out zone KO, those are important. And when you run this defense, I really suggest bringing these guys into the box. And then you can literally just run it just like this. And what you'll see is I'm going to try to force feed the crosser. 
what you'll see right here is if they throw that, that uh, deep end zone KO, deep bound zone KO combo has potential to knock that out. So this is one of my favorite ways to uh, play cover four out of this is to still have this send four. Now, the other thing I want to go over is you can still do something like this if you wanted to. So we're just going to cross ran the tight end, shade out, shade underneath. And then, as you can see, we now have created a cover four with the hard flats, and we have the tight end cross man if they want to run verticals. We now have a lot of freedom because we can go here, snap back to the running back, and then they're going to have to throw that right into KOs over the middle. So this is very good for uh, defending verticals as well. Now, I want to go over uh, a combo that a lot of people really don't know about yet, but it is a good combo, and it's basically this uh, right here. And I'm going to block my running back, but it's essentially the tight end corner. Uh, this tight end corner, what you're going to see here is it's the double corner concept, but they're using a tight end apprentice essentially. So they're using a tight end apprentice for their double corner uh, passing. And this is actually a really, really good combo. Let me uh, put a court. Let me put the quarters out there and explain um, explain why this is good. So essentially, a lot of times you're not going to put curl flats on the field. And even if you do put curl flats on the field, it normally doesn't stop this. And essentially this corner, when they run it to the wide side, as you see, it gets into a really soft spot. So there's a couple of options that we have uh, in our arsenal to be able to defend this. One of them is to go back to the beginning of the video where I talked about the spinner defense or uh, with the cross man or the roll coverage where I talked about that with the cover two. OK, both of those will defend this. But let's say you're in this baseline look and you want to be able to defend this. Then what we're going to do essentially is we're just going to uh, basically man up the tight end uh, is really what I would recommend. Another thing you can do is uh, this right here. So you can go with uh, this adjustment, which is a double double flat to the right where we have a hard flat from this guy and a cloud flat from this guy, okay? Now, on the left side, uh, you know, you could just do seam flat or purple, but I want you just to watch this set of adjustments and how good it is against the double corner uh, concept that everyone is running right now. So what you'll see, see how that cloud flat will defend it from the safety position? This is becoming one of the best adjustments in the game for defending these double corner uh, concepts. So I want to go over how to actually create it. So the way that you actually create this is we're going to put the safety in a curl flat. Then what we're going to do is we're going to shade outside. We're going to shade underneath and then over top. And then you're going to uh, basically re-hard flat this uh, slot corner. And essentially, that's how you set the defense up. Now, you might say, OK, well, what if they seam streak, right? Like, what if they seem? What about the seam streak? I'll talk about that in just a second, but I just want you to watch this real quick. And if you look to the left side, we have a pretty basic defense here. Um, and then what you'll see is the corners are taken away and the circle receiver is actually taken away as well. Now, I did want to talk about seam streaks. I don't see a lot of people doing that this year, but if they are doing that, um, I did want to go over that. So how do you guard like a seam streak to the slot receiver? Okay. So the way that you're going to do that is honestly, you can user it. Okay. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't like sleep on the fact that you can use her the seam streak. So you'll see right here, like with set feet lead this year, that's a really tight throw. Another thing that I like to suggest to people, because you are playing someone that's running gun bunch, there's no seam uh, streak threat to the left side. That is really that big of a deal. So what I like to do is actually cheat this guy over a little bit when I bring him down. And then now I can do this. And you'll see if they run a seam streak, let me do it out of verticals. You'll see here, that can be bad. That can be intercepted basically is what I'm trying to say. So this is a pretty good little adjustment for a bunch. Now, another thing that you can do out of this is cross man the slot with this defender here, bring this guy down, and you're going to put him in that uh, curl flat. You're going to shade underneath and over top and then go ahead and man this guy up on circle. Now all you have to do basically here is uh, guard the tight end. 
So you'll see right here, if the tight end runs that short corner, you don't have to worry about him. If the tight end runs double post, you don't really have to worry about him, but you're going to kind of start there. That takes away the seam streak. And then the man ups are available to help with double posts. So I really like this adjustment as well. All right. So I wanted to go over another little defense that I like against gun bunch. And this is out of the default zones. So what we're going to do is we're going to quarter, um, Essentially, we're going to do some cross manning. So we're going to cross man uh, this safety onto the uh, tight end. We are then going to bring this guy down and man him up on the slot. We're going to man this guy up on the outside bunch receiver. And again, I like to shade that outside bunch receiver basically inside because he's normally going to be running a, um, a post. And then basically, this is the adjustments. Okay. Now, if you wanted to man up the running back, you could um, just with the slot, honestly, not a bad idea just to do this right here. This is fine. But the beauty of this is these quarters will really help defend things like uh, C routes. And then you also have other, you know, you are able to defend a, a lot of stuff with these cross mans. So I, I really would recommend you check out these cross mans here and even a defense like this with a cloud flat over here is really good if you're going to send five. Now, if the running back goes on a route, you got to user him. But if you can guard the running back for just a second, you're going to get that pressure in and you're going to be in a really good shape. So this is another one of my favorite uh, little defenses to uh, to run against bunch. OK, so uh, last couple setups here that we wanted to go over, and I hope you enjoyed this uh, little guide. I've been wanting to do something like this for a long time. And these are just like, again, just general tips, uh, general a general guide to defending gun bunch. If you wanted to run some 4-3, even 6-1, or if you wanted to stay in dollar for this too, you could I actually just show it at a dollar because we've been doing everything so far at a dollar. What you're going to do is you're going to turn your match coverage on. You're going to put your curl flats on five, your flats on 30, and you're going to have your base aligned. Now, the beauty of this defense is it's going to do a really good job of this is what I like to go to if I don't know what to call against somebody that's running bunch, because this is going to do a really good job of containing everything they can do. So uh, it's this cover six show four. And all we're going to do is we're going to press pinch our defensive line, crash our D line down and blitz our user. Now from there, uh, we're going to set up a double Mabel coverage. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to back off the outside cornerback on the right. And we're going to back off the outside cornerback on the left. We're then going to purple uh, the slot corner on the right. We're going to cloud flat the corner on the left. And then you can take this linebacker and either cross man him onto the tight end, man him up on the running back, man him up on really whoever you want. And what you're going to see here, you could also do this. Um, you could man this guy up onto the solo wide receiver. And the reason you might want to do that is because of what I'll show you here, uh, just in terms of how this will play the verticals crosser. So what you'll see is that this cross uh, or this inside quarter will actually match that verticals crosser. And with the KO abilities that he has, he should be able to take that away. That's one option. Now, again, what I like to do is move these safeties down when I do these adjustments. I think it's really helpful to do that. But another thing we can honestly do is just this very simple double Mabel coverage with a little hook curl underneath. This is a very good adjustment. And I would recommend, I would probably always cross man the tight end just because verticals is a thing. But because you can actually use our verticals a little bit better this year than you have in the past, you can just leave him there. Now, if they run double post out of this, this inside quarter to the left will actually take away the post, as you can see. He will take that away because he has deep in zone KO and it's super, super difficult for them to be able to fit that in. So that's one other method uh, that you can use to kind of take away the post out of this. And then again, I just think this is a very, very underrated shell. Um, you know, you could do something like this here and just kind of play some passive defense. If they run verticals, the really cool part about this, you think that seam wheel would be open, but you'll see here because of the man up on the tight end, that inside quarter is actually going over the top to go take away that wheel route to the circle receiver. So you're not really going to get burned deep. Now, if they were to motion out, so let's say, let's say for example, that they did, um, let me see here, let's go verticals. 
and let's say they motioned out circle. We would then want to keep this deep half defender here. Um, or another little simple thing you can do is take this linebacker and cross man him on circle. Most people don't do that this year. It's actually a really good adjustment. And the reason why is because the cro cross man in this game, I just think is so good it's because they move. Um, he'll actually be able to recover by the time that route's coming open. So you have the ability to do that as well. Um, you know, if they're, if they're, um, you know, threatening you with that. Uh, ability to be able to attack you that way another real simple way to run this defense is to deep half on the left and then this is a little safer version of the double mabel coverage and again you're just lurking in the middle please trust please trust uh these zones over there they are very effective and these are some of the best ways that i'm aware of to defend a formation like gun bunch now you know, obviously you're not going to use all of these for everybody that you play. You're probably going to use some of these for people that you play. Uh, I want to show you one other uh, coverage that I do like, and this is back in that free safety uh, blitz defense. So what we're going to do here, this is just if they're running a lot of corner routes to the right, we're just going to back this guy off, put him in a cloud. We got the purples underneath, and then we're just going to roll the coverage over like that. Very simple. It just gives us a double Mabel look to the right. So if they're trying to throw uh, any kind of short side corners or anything like that, this is going to be taken away with that uh, deep cloud flat defender. Overall, guys, these are these are some of the best adjustments that I've seen uh, for defending gun bunch. So I wanted to bring those to you. See how you guys like this kind of video. I know it's a little bit advanced, um, but I did want to just try to provide something that uh, kind of put everything together in one video for you guys uh, in terms of how you can go about defending gun bunch. Now, if you enjoyed this video in our ebooks, this would be like one video that we would do for one formation and we actually cover multiple formations. So I would really encourage you if you have not checked out the Patreon, it's really a great way to spend 10 bucks because the knowledge contained in the Patreon will make you a better Madden player. You'll get access to all of our eBooks, all of our updates to those eBooks, any revamps of those eBooks, any new eBooks that we release while your membership is active. All of that is available to you for just $10. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.